So we've all been told that sugar is bad for our teeth, but what if there's a sugar that actually protects them? So there is one, it's called xylitol, and you've probably seen it in sugar-free gum, mint, or toothpaste. But here's the truth, it doesn't just sit there as a sweetener, what it does is it actively interferes with the bacteria that cause cavities. So in this video, we're going to break down what xylitol exactly does to your teeth, how to use it properly, and whether it's something you should be using every day. Oh, and by the way, I'm a dentist, I make videos to help you understand dental health the easy way, so you don't have to learn it the hard way in the chair. So, let's get started. So xylitol is a sugar alcohol, which means it's a carbohydrate that looks and tastes sweet. But the way it's processed in your body is different than regular sugar. So it's found naturally in some fruits and vegetables, tiny amounts in things like raspberries, strawberries, mushrooms. But the xylitol you find in gum or toothpaste or mouth rinse is usually different. That's extracted from birch wood or corn fiber. Now to you, xylitol tastes exactly like regular sugar, but you'll probably notice something a little different. So it has that slightly cool, refreshing kind of feel that you notice when you brush your teeth or chew sugar-free gum. And that cooling effect happens because xylitol absorbs heat as it dissolves, giving you that clean, smooth mouthfeel without any aftertaste or bitterness. So basically, your mouth is home to millions of bacteria. And one of the most harmful ones is called streptococcus mutants. So these bacteria or streptococcus mutants, what they do is they feed on sugar. And what it does is it ends up releasing acid as a waste. So that acid ends up uh, wearing away your enamel or eating away your enamel. And that's what starts the process of decay. So what happens here is when you're sipping on sugary drinks or constantly snacking on sugary food, you're giving that bacteria a steady supply of fuel. And that's where the acid attack starts. Now here's where xylitol flips the script, because what happens is when streptococcus mutants feeds on xylitol, it can't break it down. So what happens is the bacteria absorb it, but they can't extract energy from it. And it's like giving them a meal that leads to nowhere. So over time, what happens is this starves the bacteria, it slows their growth, and it makes it harder for them to stick to your teeth. So basically, less bacteria means less acid and less damage to your enamel. So xylitol also creates more of like an alkaline type of environment, which helps neutralize acids that are already in your mouth. And it also does one more thing, something really important. It stimulates saliva. And what saliva is, is it's like an unsung hero in your oral health. It's a natural mouth defense system. Now, who should be using xylitol? So if you're somebody who tends to get cavities, even though you brush and you floss, it's a sign that you're at a higher risk. So xylitol might help reduce that risk. Or if you're somebody with a dry mouth, so from things like medication, age, or medical conditions, xylitol can help stimulate saliva production and make your mouth feel less dry. Or even if you're somebody who snacks a lot or drink a lot of um, sweet drinks, sometimes that xylitol can help uh, balance the pH in between meals and can help uh, reduce the risk of acid attacks um, or reduce the acidity in between meals. And also if you're somebody who wears braces, so sometimes cleaning around the brackets can be hard, and bacteria love to hide around these areas, and that's a common area from where tooth decay can develop. So um, xylitol can sometimes help with that. And also for kids, xylitol is a game changer. So some school programs gave uh, children xylitol and saw cavity rates drop by more than 50%. So if you're somebody who has a solid brushing routine, adding xylitol can be one of the simplest ways to strengthen your oral defense. Now, the biggest mistake I've seen people make with xylitol is assuming chewing a single piece of gum is enough. But the thing is, it's not. Because to get the benefits, you need about 5 to 10 grams per day. And you need to spread it out. So that's usually about 3 to 5 exposures a day. So, for example, you might chew um, a piece of gum after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner, and maybe one or two between meals. So that simple change can actually reduce your risk of developing cavities over time significantly. But here's the catch, and that's something to watch out for. So not all xylitol products are created equal. So what I mean here is some gums might have a little bit of xylitol, and they fill the rest with sweeteners, with things like aspartame, sorbitol, sucralose, which don't have the exact same effect. So make sure you always check the label, look for xylitol as the first ingredient, uh, aim for at least one gram per piece, at least. And also, choose brands that advertise 100% xylitol-based products. Now, you might hear some people say, isn't xylitol like any other artificial sweetener? And the thing is, it's not. It's naturally derived. So, it's chemically different from artificial sweeteners from things like saccharin or aspartame. And others worry about safety. But for humans, xylitol is generally considered safe, especially at the doses we're talking about, the 5 to 10 grams a day. So, with that being said, don't go overboard, because more doesn't always mean better. 
So in high doses, xylitol can cause bloating or diarrhea, and that's why it's always smart to start slow and slowly build up. And here's a quick thing, and that's important. So xylitol is toxic for dogs. So even small amounts can cause serious health problems. So make sure you keep your gum and mint away from pets. So if you want to start using xylitol, here's what I'd recommend. So choose xylitol gum with at least one gram per piece. Chew after meals, so ideally three to five times a day, and track how much you're getting daily. So aim for five to 10 grams a day. And don't use it as a substitute for brushing but more of a smart add-on. And these small changes can add up, especially over the months and years. And the beauty of it is, it's something that you can start today with minimal effort. And some might also ask, what if I hate chewing gum? You can use xylitol in any other form, so in things like mint, oil sprays, or even toothpaste. The key here is frequency. And here's the bottom line. Xylitol isn't a trend. It's actually one of the few ingredients that's used in oral health that's backed by decades of research, safe for long-term use, and incredibly easy to add to your routine. And it won't replace brushing, it won't cure cavities overnight, but it can significantly reduce the risk of developing cavities, especially if it's used daily.